something is terribly wrong at Lake Griffin. The reports caused Florida Fish and Wildlife to appoint Alan Woodward to investigate the deaths. He already has his suspicions. Gunshot wounds to the head is the most common thing you would see. Also, we looked for tails missing in case people were poaching alligators for the tail meat. The other thing that could happen is people um, hitting alligators with boats. You can usually see propeller scars on the back. But the corpses tell a different story. No signs of trauma, propeller scars, no scars, fairly intact. None of these things were observed on any of the dead alligators. But all is not what it seems. Not all of the alligators are dead. Lake Griffin is located about 50 miles northwest of Orlando. It's home to one of the largest alligator populations in the state. And it's the only one of Florida's 8,000 lakes where this is happening. Rotting, bloated corpses are turning up along the shoreline. Trapped in the reeds, and out in the open water amongst the floating vegetation. So a select team of investigators from 13 agencies is assembled. Among them are project coordinator Alan Woodward, Jeff Elledge of the Water Management District, pathologist Scott Terrell, and Dale Honeyfield from the Northern Appalachian Research Laboratory in Pennsylvania. It's their job to track down the killer. The investigators begin by observing the alligator's behavior firsthand. We noticed alligators that showed poor equilibrium. In other words, they, were, they had a hard time riding themselves in the water. They listed to one side or another. Some of them had trouble keeping their heads above water. There was some speculation that they were uh, eventually drowning because they could not keep their heads above water. The scientists have no idea what could cause these amphibious creatures to drown. Alligators spend their lives in and around water. It's their lifeblood. They use it as a sanctuary to keep cool, to mate, and to hunt. They can remain submerged for two hours where they lie in wait for prey. But the zombie gators struggle to even swim. They float listlessly in the water or lie motionless on the bank. Only sporadic twitches show that they're still alive. Alligator behavior like this has never been seen before. This top predator is no longer able to move, let alone kill. <laughs> 